safety precautions. The R Safety Pro is a very powerful tool that makes the fire ground safer, but it does not remove the risks from a fire response. A few important precautions will help keep everyone safe during a deployment. Gear up. Always wear SCBA and protective gear when entering a structure before, during, and after deployment. Occupant search. Always conduct your occupant search before deploying the R Safety Pro. Only deploy the device with occupants present if they could not otherwise be safely rescued. Thermal layers. The R Safety Pro disrupts thermal layers. Because of the cooling effect of the R Safety Pro, thermal layers will move temporarily towards the floor and will often push hot smoke and air out of the openings, such as windows and doorways. Ensure all openings are clear and the room in which the device is deployed is clear of occupants. Reignition following venting. Rapid venting following deployment can lead to reignition. Always enter the structure with caution following deployment. Using a thermal imaging camera will ensure that hot spots can be identified and cooled using water or foam. Structural damage. The R Safety Pro can knock down fully involved fires that have caused significant structural damage. Always assume the structure has been compromised when entering a building after deployment. Important procedures for victim recovery. Only deploy the R Safety Pro for victim recovery if you would otherwise be unable to safely recover the victim. Deploy the device as far from the victim as possible while still deploying it in an area that will impact the fire. Be aware that deploying the RS Safety Pro disrupts thermal layers, causing hot air to move temporarily towards the floor, creating a burn hazard for any occupants. Have a thermal imaging camera ready. In the zero visibility environment, this will be necessary to locate the victim. Remove the victim as quickly as possible. Treat as you would for smoke inhalation. In particular, provide supplemental oxygen.